nah, nah, you know the vibe We see you looking, you should smell the aroma In the kitchen when she cooking She the real deal when she make a home cooked meal She's not nah, nah, the saucy chef, she got skills Nah, nah, the saucy chef, she got skills Nah, nah, the saucy, nah, nah, the saucy, saucy chef, she got skills Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Nana, the Saucy Chef. Today we're going to be making homemade glazed donuts. The ingredients that we're going to need for our donut glaze are 4 cups of confectioner sugar, 6 tablespoons of water, 1 tablespoon of vanilla extract. For our donuts, we're going to need 2.5 cups of all-purpose flour, 1 fourth cup of white sugar, two egg yolks at room temperature. I also have a separate bowl with some flour for dusting, one half teaspoon of vanilla extract, one fourth cup of light olive oil, one fourth teaspoon of salt, a packet of rapid rise instant yeast, two thirds cup of milk, and also oil for frying. The first thing we're going to do is get a small pot. We're going to put it on medium low heat. We're going to add our two thirds cup of milk in. Now we only want our milk to get to like a steam. You're going to continue to mix it because you don't want it to form any type of film on top. And you don't want your milk to boil. Okay guys, once you see that steam, you want to go ahead and pour it back into your measuring cup, set it to the side so it can cool down some. Now to a bowl, I'm going to add one cup of flour. I'm going to add my salt, sugar, and also our pack of yeast and you just want to whisk that together. And guys, you want to make sure that all your measurements when you're baking is right to the T. You don't want to add extra or use less of what you're supposed to. So we're just going to mix this until it's all well combined. Next, we're going to go ahead and add in our milk. You also want to add in your eggs, your oil, and your vanilla extract. And we're just going to whisk everything together until it's well combined. Once you're done, we're going to cover it with saran wrap. Once you have it covered tightly, you want to let it sit for 10 minutes at room temperature. After 10 minutes, you can see the small bubbles on top. That means our yeast is active. So now, all we're going to do is add our remaining flour. And we're just going to mix until well combined. Can add in a little at a time. Next, we're going to just go in and knead it for about five minutes. You want to make sure that your dough is not sticking to the bowl. After kneading your dough, you want to roll it into a ball, put it into your bowl, and we're going to cover it with saran wrap. Now we're going to let our dough rest. If you're leaving it at room temperature, you want to let it sit for one to two hours until it doubles in size. Or you can use the microwave method. Put a damp cloth in, microwave it for one minute, and then you can place your dough into there and let it sit for 45 minutes. Okay guys, it's been 45 minutes. I used the microwave method. So now all you want to do is flour your surface. I took a little bit of that flour off. It was a bit much. So now I'm going to go ahead and put my dough 
onto our surface. And next, all we're going to do is roll it out into a disc. You want your dough to be about one third or one fourth inch thick. Now I have a biscuit cutter and I'm also using an icing tip to cut out the center. So all we're gonna do now is begin to cut out our donuts. And you wanna try to keep them as close as, as possible so you're able to cut out a lot. I was able to get 10 donuts out of my dough. So as you see, I started using my icing tip. Just wanna press down in the center of your donut and just pop the middle out. So you guys should have 10 donut holes also. Now you want to get a baking sheet lined with parchment paper and you want to place your donuts and donut holes onto it. Now that you have your donuts on the baking sheet, we're going to let them sit for 45 minutes at room temperature and we're going to cover them up with a kitchen cloth. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and make our glaze. You want to add your four cups of confectioner sugar to a bowl. You want to add your vanilla extract and your six tablespoons of water. Now we're going to whisk all of that together until it's well combined. Okay guys, this is what our glaze looks like. If it's too thick for you, you can add in a little bit more water and just whisk it together. Okay guys, it's been 45 minutes. I uncovered them. As you can see, our donuts have rised. Next, you want to have your cooling rack out. Now we're going to bring our oil up to temperature. Okay, now we're going to add in our donuts. You only want to add a couple at a time in. And you're going to let them cook on one side for 60 seconds. Then you're going to flip them. You want your donuts to be golden and you only want to flip them once. This donut right here looks a little out of shape because that was my excess dough. Once they're golden brown on both sides, you want to remove them and set them onto your cooling rack. Okay, it's time to remove them. And all we're going to do is repeat the process. Okay, this is my second batch. Look how pretty they are. Okay guys, now we can add in all of our donut holes. Okay guys, these are now ready to come out. You can turn off your heat. Okay guys, now it's time to glaze them. So we're just gonna place one of our donuts inside of our glaze. And all you're gonna do is flip it over until it's nicely coated. Let it drip the excess glaze off and set it back onto your cooling rack. Okay guys, look how beautiful our donuts came out. As you can see, they're nice and fluffy on the inside and nice and soft. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please come back. Please like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to leave a comment. And until next time, this is Nana, the Saucy Chef. Thank you.